first thing I do is I drink some water. It's early. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the time, but it's 6.37. I woke up at 6.30. It snowed last night, which is really annoying because I had plans to go skating today. So at this time, I normally make my bed. I like to set the tone for the day by making my bed because I feel like when you accomplish something so early in the morning, it really does set the tone for the day. So I think it's super important to do this. After this, I like to just prepare my space. So I like to make sure everything's really clean and tidy. And then I start to collect things for my meditation. I grab some of my favorite crystals. I light some incense. Please ignore my dead roses, so embarrassing. Then I just put everything together on my fluffy little rug on the floor. So I light some candles, get my journal, my tarot cards, usually do like a one or two card spread and I get my singing bowl and stuff like that. So once I do this, I just sit down and I take some time for myself to meditate for about 30 minutes or more. Usually I don't go longer than like 45 and I usually meditate to the sound of singing bowls on YouTube. And then once I'm done, I actually play the singing bowl myself and I'm gonna let you guys hear that because the sound is so beautiful and healing, I need you guys to hear it. So this is a little Tibetan singing bowl I got from my boyfriend. Okay, the sun has, well, there's no sun, but the light has risen. Um, I just leave one candle on and I start my morning yoga. So right now my yoga routine consists of me just trying to get my splits if I'm being honest. Like I'm not doing a full body flow yoga, like a morning wake up one yet. I'm gonna get to it, but right now i just want to get my splits and i'm going to start to work on more flexibility and more like morning routine type yoga but i don't really know which way this mat goes i actually got a new mat and then i bought the wrong one because i wanted a thicker one so i returned it and then the one i wanted was out of stock so i'm waiting for that to come back in stock and my slippers <laughs> i watched this video right here so I like to do a 20 minute follow along with Tom Merrick, the YouTuber. Starts off with some simple downward dog, upward dog positions, and then it gets into pretty intensive hip flexor stretches and lunges. And um, I, don't, I don't know the name of the other ones, but it's pretty intense. By the end of it, I'm sweating, my legs are hurting, but it's great because when I first started this exercise, I was nowhere near my splits and now I'm getting closer and closer every single day and i think that by like the end of march i should have my splits and as you can see this is my progress about i filmed this two weeks ago so this was like two weeks ago i'm actually closer now which is crazy so yeah i'll keep you guys updated on when i get my splits trust me i'm gonna make a whole ass video about it because i'm very excited and i've been working towards it for a while this is intense after that i like to take about an hour or so out of my morning to read some type of self-help book so I am rereading a book right now that I've already read and I'll show you that in a second but I like to just wait until it's bright out and then I put some lo-fi music on on super super low volume. Today I'm reading You're Badass. Well I was, I finished it today actually and um, I'm rereading it but it's just a super motivating book. Now I make my cup this I was using a coffee maker for a couple of weeks there but I realized that my favorite method is French press right now. Um, it's easy, it takes a few minutes, it tastes stronger. It's good. I just hate that I can only make one cup, but I guess it's good because it limits me because like sometimes I just drink coffee because it's there, um, not because I actually want it. I use the Hoffa blend from Jimmy's Coffee, which is a local coffee shop in Toronto. So I put hot water and I just swirl it around because the coffee connoisseurs on YouTube do this and so does my boyfriend. <laughs> I don't know if it does anything, but I do it. I think it like warms up the, warms up the thing, the press. I don't fucking know, man. Then I pour it out. This is how I make my coffee, my, my warm coffee, because my iced coffee is a different story. So I put a heaping spoon 
of ground coffee in my French press. You can't really see it, but it's there. Then, don't judge me, okay? I put two teaspoons of sugar in it. I put a little pinchy pinch of cinnamon, just a little bit. And a splash of vanilla. I used to put vanilla syrup in it, but I realized that like the vanilla flavor wasn't potent enough and it was just like unnecessary sugar. And I do it like in a circular motion because the coffee connoisseurs do it and so does my boyfriend. <laughs> I don't know if it does anything, but I do it. Then I mix it all together. Oh, it smells so delicious. I'll be back. So now I just put some milk in a cup, about this much, and then I microwave it, don't judge me. Then, oh my god. Then I froth away. So my coffee's been steeping for a few minutes, so at this point I push it down and I prepare the actual coffee. And I love this part. I love watching it pour, it's so satisfying. But yeah, it's super hot, so I like to let it cool down. And while it cools down, I actually dance. Like, I just finished like a 20 minute dance break to this gratitude playlist that I have. And I can share it if you want. But yeah, then I just drink my coffee and I take it to my room because in my room, I get about one hour of sunlight for the whole day. And that's between like 8.30 and 9.30 a.m. So I wait for this moment and I spend that full hour in the sun. It sounds like a joke, but I legitimately drag my chair and I sit in the sun and I drink my coffee and it's beautiful. I let it just beam all over my face. And this is when I usually take time to check on my socials because I don't look at my phone all morning. I um, wait until this moment. I look at Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff for about 30 minutes because half of that time I'm just like chilling and closing my eyes. Um, then I look at my phone and yeah, I just sit there. I just sit there. Sometimes I'll talk to my boyfriend, drink my coffee. Sometimes I'll think, sometimes I'll go on TikTok. It all depends on the day, but yeah. Then I look in the mirror and appreciate my morning skinny tummy before I eat. <laughs> then I make my breakfast. So I usually do the same thing. I either make a bagel or a sandwich and I just make a, a standard BLT, but I add a couple things in it, some hot sauce, all that stuff. And usually when I eat my breakfast in the morning, I have it with water. I only drink water really other than like teas and coffees. I like to watch some type of self-help video. So today's video is called Comparison is Keeping You Poor. It's been in my recommended for weeks, so I finally clicked on it. I just like to watch mindful content in the mornings. Um, so I usually watch TED Talks, Leora Alexandra, manifestation videos, or anything that makes me feel good. Then I go get clean, I take a shower, and I start my day. So at this point, I moisturize, do all those things, and then I get ready. So today's a filming day. So usually on filming days, I wear makeup. So I wear makeup about once a week. Right now, I'm obsessed with this beauty brand called Merit Beauty. And they're just so amazing. Like They make me want to take all my makeup, throw it out, and just replace it with their staple pieces. Because honestly, I love the natural look so much that their items are all that I really need in my routine. This sounds sponsored and it's not. I mean, I'm sponsored for them, on, sponsored by them, sorry, on my other channel, but I genuinely just love this company so much that I've just been speaking so highly of it. Anyways, yeah, so it's like a five minute makeup uh, routine, 10 minutes and very, very natural as you can see. So I get all cute and then I start my day. Now I'm just making some TikToks. <laughs> This is when the content creation starts. So I was doing some like Ariana Grande song challenge video this day. It's super cringe. I ended up deleting it because I couldn't watch it. Um, this is me critiquing myself. I'm like, no, this is not good enough. Fucking stupid video. <laughs> like I'm literally cringing. I just deleted it and I'm like, fuck that shit. So this right here is my filming setup. So now I pretty much would just film a video. Well, no, first I make my iced coffee. I have my French press in the morning so I can have a hot coffee. And then whatever's left over, I'll make it into an iced coffee later on in the day. At this point, I would start filming something, which I'm about to. So yeah, I film right now. Before I film, I actually go over my list of things to do. So every Monday, my boyfriend and I, we wake up, we FaceTime each other, and we create our to-do lists for the week. 
And he's actually on the whole waking up early thing too. We both do it together. He gets up at seven, I get up at 6.30. And um, we like FaceTime and like co-work during the day. But I'll show you my to-do list. Okay, so I had some TikToks here that I had to do TikTok story time, find an outfit, call the skating rink, like just some stuff um, to do for the week, which was like record videos, record story time, Zodiac videos, respond to comments and email some brands back. And then day two is Tuesday, record some more videos, take some Instagram videos, do some pre -R box stuff, create some reels for Instagram, send over a contract to Skillshare, just some YouTube stuff, like more promoting on Instagram and stuff like that. Then here, I just have to edit my video. So this is editing day. Wednesday and Thursday is editing day. Monday and Tuesday is filming content photo day. So these are the days of the week that I wear makeup. Usually it's only Monday, but this week it was both. Um, so Wednesday, Thursday is always editing days. So edit my video, edit my other video, edit my TikTok, edit my Instagram, post some reels, connect with some more brands. So I scope up brands on, online and then I send them emails. Um, create my thumbnails, upload and tag videos, and then reply to more comments. And then Thursday, some more editing. Take some Depop photos on the mannequin, take some photos of my denim to sell, um, check in with brands, script out some videos for the following week, because I script ahead of time, and create some more thumbnails. And Thursday, I gotta get some press on nails, paint my toenails, and do my- Okay, my camera died, but this was the Friday right before my birthday. So over there I have wash and go, press on nails, paint my toenails, cause I wanted to get all girly and cute for my birthday weekend. So um, usually Fridays are my days off and I see my boyfriend and um, I don't really do anything work related that day. So I wanted to make sure to just give that information to you guys in case you guys think I'm working Monday to Friday. I work Monday to Thursday. Okay, so as you can see, I have some stuff checked off now. I'm still working on this video. Uh, oops, what is that? Promote, I just have to promote something on Instagram and then I'm pretty much done for the day and it's already going on four. I wake up at 6.30 and it's now four. So I usually do like a nine to five or a 10 to six. Today I'm doing a nine to five. I just went through all my comments here, harder the ones that didn't really need to reply and then I replied to most of them. I like to reply to all my comments like as much as I can. Then I also just uploaded a video and I just posted it. This is the video here. Manifest your dream life by doing these two things. So that was posted 25 minutes ago and it has 10 whole views. Woo, woo. And then I also just check my comments, see if there's anything new. And I just got a reply from my fave, Kelly Stamps. Shout out to Kelly Stamps because she stays replying to my comments. Okay, so I just finished filming a video. I filmed a video for my other channel called What to Look for in a Partner in terms of like each zodiac sign. So I just filmed that, so that means I can check it off. I guess that's it. I did some TikToks. I filmed a couple of them, but I don't know if I like them. And I guess, I don't really know what else I have to do. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, okay, so I have another TikTok. Oh no, that's, I didn't even check off the TikTok. Check, yeah, respond to comments, da da da. Day in the life video, still in the works. I'll check that off after. Oh, I have to take some PR photos. So I guess I'll take the photos. I'll set up the scene and I'll show you guys what I come up with. I don't really know how to do that. I'm like not good at like aesthetic photos. So we'll see, we'll figure it out. Okay, this is like the vibe I'm going for. I'm gonna place everything better. Oh, that's not Merit Beauty. I'm gonna place everything better obviously and like move things around, open up the packaging, but the photo is gonna come out um, pretty nice with this lighting and stuff. So I'm gonna put a photo that I ended up taking over top of this so you guys can see exactly how I did it. So for me, that's the easiest way to do PR is just like add like a blanket. I have so many textures in my room. Like I have a rug on the floor, I have a blanket, I have those pillows, I have that blanket. And I just put it in front of the, the window and I just take the photos there. It's so much easier to create like an aesthetic shot because honestly, when you just put it on a white table, it's boring. I just made some dinner. I have some broccoli with um, like Chinese five spice, garlic, sesame seeds, a bit of butter. Then I have some blackened teriyaki salmon and some white rice. Look how good that looks. You cannot go wrong with this, man. It's healthy and it tastes so good. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like videos like this, let me know and I'll make some more about my routine, my life, my job and all that stuff. I guess that's pretty much it. Nothing crazy, nothing super entertaining, but I hope you guys found enjoyment in it regardless. And um, I'll be back in a few days with a new video. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.